Luke, injuries can lead to uh, muscle loss and reduction in strength. Is there a relationship between duration of inac inactivity, um, like bed rest and uh, muscle loss? So if we sustain an injury or we become ill and there's a period of bed rest or maybe lag or limb immobilization, we lose a lot of muscle tissue and that, goes, uh, that actually occurs quite rapidly. So we lose about uh, half percent up to 1% in muscle mass per day. So after about five days of leg immobilization or bed rest, we can actually lose about 4% of muscle tissue, which would already be about 300 grams in just a single leg. So protein is important for everybody. Um, as an injured athlete, do you need to follow a specific nutritional strategy? So dietary protein is one of the stimuli that allows us to maintain skeletal muscle mass. So if we sustain an injury, generally we have less energy expenditure, so we start eating less. What we should try is maintain energy balance, but also maintain absolute dietary protein intake. That means that we should actually eat more protein-dense foods, maybe use high protein-containing snacks or protein-containing supplements to maintain protein intake. And that will attenuate muscle loss. It doesn't prevent it, but it can actually attenuate some of the loss that we see during bed rest. And could a creatine supplement be beneficial during injuries? Oh, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of different compounds that can stimulate muscle protein synthesis, but also attenuate muscle protein breakdown. Creatine is an interesting one. There's some really good suggestions that creatine use can actually prevent or attenuate muscle loss during immobilization. But what has really been proven is that it can help you attenuate more muscle during rehabilitation. So it allows you to regain muscle mass and strength more rapidly following an exercise or an injury.